Okay, here's my final project. It's my three to five minute video. I put everything in a PowerPoint here just to kind of help keep it organized. Uh, I wanted to discuss is my topic was ADHD in the classroom. Uh, and I wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, what exactly that was. Um, I think teaching students who have disabilities in the classroom can be quite a challenge. Uh, attention deficit disorder is something that uh, is prevalent in five to six percent of kids and it can be something that can steamroll your class out of control and kids with this can be very disruptive causing other people to lose their attention and focus uh, as well as making the teacher's life a little bit more difficult. Um, there's you know not very many, uh, I mean, the research I've done on it and the other things, there's not a lot that can be said in terms of uh, a consistent approach on what causes it. Is it genetic? Is it environmental? Uh, or some people don't even think that it's a reality. Um, and then the different treatments and uh, how that affects the students as well. Um, so hopefully if they have ADHD, uh, it's something that's been observed. Uh, they've uh, met the requirements uh, of, of what it takes to be diagnosed, and they can start to uh, go ahead and um, uh, be healthy. Uh, but from a teacher's perspective, I think it's important to know how does it affect the child. Kids with ADHD uh, may have trouble with uh, getting and staying organized, managing time and emotions focusing on important tasks, getting started on things, thinking before doing, following directions, and keeping things in mind, uh, such as using their working memory. Uh, over here on the right, you can see I've kind of got a little diagram, and you know, in a person with ADD's brain or ADHD, uh, there's a lot going on, and they have a really hard time focusing on uh, each each different thing. Uh, the thing that I've noticed, I have a son who's been diagnosed with ADD and uh, before he was diagnosed, it was amazing the struggles he had. He wasn't disruptive in class, but he really struggled with getting things done on time and turned in. Um, but he always, you know, was pretty smart. And once he got on medication and the proper therapy, man, it was amazing. He went from struggling to pass classes to straight A's and, you know, on his ACT, he was able to to get in the in the 30s on his test score. So not not being diagnosed can really have a terrible effect on, on the student. Um, but as a teacher, if the teacher doesn't understand and thinks has a different belief about it, it can also be detrimental to the teacher, the class, and more importantly, that student. Um, so sometimes they, they're not lazy, they're not stupid, they just, uh, it can be just as simple as getting started on something uh, in order to get them going on the right track. So as teachers, what can we do? Reduce distractions. They have a hard time focusing. Make sure that they only have things on their desk that allows them to uh, uh, stay focused on the task at hand. Locate them at the front of the room so that you can kind of keep their focus a little bit more. Uh, give their assignments to them. If they're complicated, break them down, divide up the work, put them in situations to be successful, successful. A lot of the times they just need help being organized and having a clear plan, writing down their assignments, using the technologies that are out there, but most importantly, being patient and understanding and don't just think because a kid is having some trouble uh, that they're helpless. And I think, you know, that just kind of goes to show you that's, that's what it is. And so when it comes to ADHD in the classroom, I think it's really important to understand it have strategies to deal with it so that you can maintain the management and the control of your classroom. Uh, and if the child isn't diagnosed, I think that can be very difficult for a teacher, but it doesn't mean that they're a lost cause. I think identifying some things, communicating with the parents about what you're seeing in the classroom can maybe connect with what the parents are seeing. And then uh, throughout the whole process, maybe it can get figured out. But, uh, you know, Trying to put those kids in positions to be successful from where they sit to what the distractions are. Um, I think, you know, even though it can be extremely challenging uh, and it can be the hardest thing that we do as a teacher, I really believe that it can also be those sort of uh, teaching experiences that are the most rewarding. Um, and that is my final uh, video and presentation on ADHD in the classroom. Thanks.